right markers so jcb 3c so the last time we were here uh we checked that it would turn freely barred it over checked that it was oil and coolant in there and the top end was okay the valves were all free and we stuck a battery on it put the ignition uh, key in turned it and the lights came on the buzzer sounded so we've got power there uh, at least up to this which is a good sign um, I then went to turn the key and then stopped the video now for a lot of people it seems that you know that was quite a cliffhanger because they were like you know you bugger you know we want to see that go but I genuinely stopped the video there and just turned the key off I got out um, unhooked the battery um, put it in the truck and went home because I needed a shite is the bottom line you know um, so I, I don't know if this is going to go or not and this is the whole point of these videos this you know will it start I mean I know some channels you can see that they've obviously had them running already or they tried them you know and then they'll film it just in case I don't know it's like with a little 3000 no idea if it's going to run or not this I have no idea if it's going to run or not that's what I enjoy this the well will it won't it it looks to that point that it's all good who knows now the only thing is the stop has been cobbled up on this with a with a wire but i'm going to try and do it so i can have the stop pulled out so it won't fire just to get some oil you know up and in in the actual engine and around the galleries hopefully a bit fingers crossed Right, well that's, um, I, I can assure you now, I'm shocked at that. I honestly thought I was going to have to at least bleed it. Um, may even have to use some of the old uh, Ether Bunny there, the old uh, Cosby's party in a can. But seriously, that, well, as I said, you saw it, that was, the, the camera was running all the while. Really pleased with that, really, really pleased. And just sweet as a nut sweets and that having said that though so was my one um, that's exactly how that ran when I got off the lorry and um, took it up the yard ten minutes later I knew something was wrong and, and, and um, I actually started to pick up on the crank and uh, that's well you know the story of that and I'll put a link to those videos of us taking the engine out and putting the new one back in and so uh, yeah, but it, this this sound this does sound sweet, um, brilliant. Right, so with that now we <laughs> right, so we know will it start? Yes, it'll start. We know that. So happy days. So um, the next thing is, will it move? Now these are a uh, as I said, the, the, what they call the Build Five uh, JCB Three C Mark Three Build Five. So they haven't got the manual transmission they haven't got the Brockhouse uh, torque converter um, they got the powertrain unit um, which you know is a forward and reverse shuttle and you've got four gears um, 
In fact, let's have a little look at that. I'll show you what it is. Okay, so you've got the sump. So there's your engine to start a motor there. There's the bell housing there. And that's where the, the actual torque converter unit is in there, the fluid flywheel. Then here is the powertrain transmission. Um, and, you know, it's not part of the whole unit, like on tractors. And then you can see there. There it goes. So there's a, a drive shaft, so it doesn't all connect right through to the back end like it does on a like on an old Nuffield or a Leyland tractor. You got a separate prop shaft there. Here's your transmission brake. It's stuck on, I'd have thought. Um, and then there's the, the back axle there. So as I said, this is the whole thing about the three systems. You've got the engine, the, the powertrain transmission, and the back axle. And it's very, very similar to this, to this, even to this day with uh, JCB and, and you know most um, you know wheel loaders. That's the system you'll have. Right. So what I'm going to do now is I want you to clear the rubbish out of the cab, and then um, I can get to the dump pedal and the forward and reverse shuttle easiest underneath there. Look at all the linkages because they're quite stiff in fact, and at least solid. Um, so they're probably just seized up. So we can get them moving, spray them up, lubricate them all up, and then uh, yeah, just see if everything's functioning. And the next stage really is to see if we can get this old girl uh, moving and we can also have a look at uh, well, we have a look at the hydraulics if it's if they get the back actor working and the and the front loader so uh, that's the next stage one thing that people have been asking about as well is uh, about the <laughs> the trolls and the haters and the and the keyboard warriors or cock womble corner has just become known. To be fair, since the last video, there's hardly you know been any at all. Um, those that we have had have just come out with the normal sort of rubbish. Um, we don't even look at them because you see the comments, you know they're going to be a load of crap. So we've got about half a dozen um, responses. They're just generic responses we put. Just ask them if they're retarded or they've got some sort of. Uh, sexual disease or if they're questioning their sexuality stuff like that there we don't say bother reading we just give them one of the standard generic responses mm, wd there um so yes we've had hardly any and as i said because they will just get uh blocked and deleted it's penetrating oil it's dead oh well, the one we did have which did amuse me there was one and a guy had gone, he'd obviously watched the video and he'd gone through all the trouble to type out uh, a comment, which was, um, you're an asshole. <laughs> I fucking know that. Don't need you to tell me. But the best bit is he'd spelt it wrong. Again, he'd put asshole, H-O-L-L, asshole. So but I, I appreciated the effort he'd gone to uh, for that. But yeah, I, I, I thought it was quite nice. I mean, he could have taken a little bit more effort and, and checked his, you know, spelling, but that said, um, yeah, I was, uh, I was quite impressed with that. So they don't now bother um, commenting and, and trolling. So what they do is they put a dislike, you see, and they think that affects you. I've got news for you. With YouTube, whether it's a like or a dislike, it's classed as an interaction. It's classed as a response. So if let's just say you had 100 likes and 10 dislikes, that's 110 interactions. That's all they worry about. So, so thanks for that, or that, because you can take that and you can ram it up your towel holder. I mean, I like to see the, you know, the likes, obviously, because um, it then shows me where, we, you know, what we can do with other, other footage and stuff like that. And it's nice to see people are watching. You know, I like that, because I do. Um, but it is funny to see that there are some that still try it because they think that doesn't apply to them. They're not a troll or a, you know, um, a sort of keyboard mechanic. They, they know what they're on about, so they need to be heard and their opinion counts. No, I don't. Don't matter a shit. Right, so with these, you've got four sort of ranges. So one, two, three, and four here. And in each of those, you've got a forward and reverse, which is on here, but that is actually seized. So I'm gonna to have to try and work out backwards and forwards. Uh, spray some WD and that on there and try and get that freed up. And then on the floor here, you've got uh, a dump pedal 
um, and then down there is the, the throttle, the uh, accelerator. Uh, and then you've got a hand throttle there for when you're working at the back, because obviously you've got your levers there. Um, so yeah, transmission breakers there, so it's a, well, that's alright, that's free, but as I said, it looks fairly maybe stuck on underneath. I want to free that off the dump pedal. Now what actually happens is, because these engines are mounted, um, in fact I'll show you. Because these engines, as I said, they're not in a sort of skid unit, they're actually mounted. And there's the mountings, rubber mountings there. And then on the back, there. What happens is, we go a bit. What happens is the engine is sat there and the mountings, the rubber mountings, they wear and sort of basically collapse. And the back end drops like that. So it all sort of collapses down. So they sit like that rather than like that. Uh, and then it pulls the inching pedal and then often what happens then is it disengages the drive so when I put my engine back in we replaced all the mounts as well you see so um, but this obviously hasn't been done these have probably been in there from new Right, well we know, we know she runs now. Uh, we also know that the front loader and the back actor works as, you know, hydraulic oil pressure there. So the pump's all right. Um, we know we've got the uh, oil in the transmission, we checked that. We know we think we've freed up the dump pedal. You can only tell that once you actually try and move it, because it'll either move or it won't. Um, but I've got movement there, and the, as I said, the little plunger works okay. Um, so really, now, the next thing is to see if she will actually drive and move forward and backwards. Now one of the questions I get asked um, is, um, why do you bother doing all that? Why don't you just stick a battery on it? Why don't you just stick a chain on and tow it? Um, and the simple answer is, well obviously with this, you couldn't tow this because it's, um, you know, got a torque converter. But that aside, this whole thing's been stood here 22 years. Um, and everything up there could have drained down that could be absolutely bone dry on that top surprisingly it wasn't as i said i was very surprised at that top end um because like with this you know the owner's been good enough to let us uh try and start it um the last thing i want to do is oh by the way um yeah i've just you know uh run it out of oil or i've bent the valves or something like that so i couldn't be bothered to check the oil so that's why we do it um and the other thing is, well, let's say, you know, I've had people asking me, you know, when you do a start, can you do this? Can you show us how to do that? So, yeah, I'm going through it step by step, you know, for, for basically for, for viewing um, entertainment or whatever, um, just to, to show um, how easy it is, how, you know, to just go through things, just check things. And then, as I say, when you do go for a start, there should then be no issues. Plus, the other thing is, if I just, you know, whacked a battery on and, and you know, cross my fingers and hope for the best, um, what good is that? Now then, muggers. Right, today, Land Rover Defender. Will it start? Yeah, fucking will. See you on the next one. Right, she's running. Send it. So, let's select this second, this is up out of the floor, and now we'll see if she moves. <laughs> now I'm just messing with you.
Well, what a treat. Um, okay, it wants one or two little things done to it. We know. I'm sure I can go at the expense of putting some new wind in those tyres. Um, but I'll need a little bit of hydraulic oil because you can hear the uh, hydraulics juddering uh, on the back actor and the front loader as you try to operate them. That's just because of the lack of oil. Trouble is, at the moment, it's pointless putting any oil in just for it to come straight back out because she stood here so long, the seals and that are dried out, they may even need replacing, but it's just coming out there, so it's important to put an oil in the middle, more than we need to. But, uh, yeah, I mean, what a loyal old thing this really is. Fantastic, eh? For all you noshers out there that get excited by watching videos of other men's pipes, we've got this little beauty right here. And don't forget, the size of the pipe is inversely proportionate to the size of the bloke's pecker. So uh, this is quite a small little number here. So uh, obviously, uh, unlike Mr. Saunders with his big pipe. Right, so we're gonna give this the treatment just so we can get another maybe five to 10 horsepower out of it. I could fit CB aerials as well, uh, if I want to go all the way. Right, so for all you excitable little noshes out there like to see a chrome pipe, this one's for you. Send it. Well, that's obviously giving that another maybe 20 horsepower. So there we are muckers now i hope you enjoyed that as much as i did uh, i had a bit of a laugh along the way but it was lovely to get the old 3c back up and running again after all these years now here's a question for you in the next video do you want to see the uh, jcb um, put to work we you know we can dig a few holes with the back act and then fill it in with the front loader or i've got another potential project a hedgerow find that uh, we could possibly get, uh, you know, turning over and then started and up and running. Now in the comments section below this video, let me know which you'd like to see, whether you want to see the, the old uh, JCB put to work or you want me to reveal the next potential project. It's either going to be one or the other. So there we are, Marcus. Let's see what happens on the next one. And don't forget to give it the old thumbs up and subscribe and all that nonsense. Oh, and if you don't like how we do things here on the channel, what we say and how we go about stuff, you can always shove your nose right up my notter and blow out the chaff. Do well. <laughs>